Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Yasser Ali. In today's video, we will discuss about introduction to SpinCAD jetting tool. Let's start our discussion with the question that what is SpinCAD? SpinCAD, as shown in this diagram, is one type of downhole tool which is used to perform cleanout jobs. And the most common cleanout jobs which we perform with SpinCAD include well bore cleanout, perforation wash post frac cleanout and different completion components cleanout like nipples etc uh, in addition we can also perform scale cleanout and uh, in scale cleanout we can remove asphaltene hydrates calcium carbonate barium sulfate or mineral scale with very easy using spinket jetting tool in order to understand the construction and working of spinket let's see this animation Here we can see that uh, at the bottom is spin cat which is connected to this pipe which is actually a coil tubing pipe and it is ultimately connected to a high pressure pumping unit. When the fluid is pumped from the uh, pumping unit it comes uh, comes through this coil and passes through this spin cat jet jetting tool. And when sp uh, high pressure fluid passes through this spin cat it starts rotating. Further, we can see that as the flow rate is increased, the uh, rotation speed of the spin cat increases. Uh, <coughs> let me clear one thing here. Uh, in this spin cat, there is no hydraulic motor or downhole motor normally, which we use in drilling uh, mud motor and uh, also in through tubing tools. Uh, how does it work? I will explain uh, later. But uh, time being, you just understand that there is no motor uh, attached in this tool. Uh, after watching the video, we you now can easily understand the construction of a usually used spin cat. Uh, here all the detailed parts of the spin cat are shown but timing we will dis we will see only the major parts and the first major part is inlet nut spin cat body spin cat head and in the head as sh shown in sorry and in the head uh, these jets are installed through which the fluid at the high pressure pass out and inside the body there is a shaft which is supported by the these two bearings so timing you can only memorize five major parts inlet nut body head shaft and jets as explained earlier and we can also see in this diagram there are uh, jets installed in the head of the spin cat uh, which are of very narrow sizes and uh, normal diameter of these jets is uh, 0 0.0 0 0.075, 0 0.09 and 0 0.106 inches. I am talking about the whole of this jet. I mean through which the fluid is passed. And there are total 5 jets installed uh, in a usually used spin cat. Uh, these jets are installed at different angles. 2 jets are installed at 90 degree, 2 jets at 45 degree and 1 jet at 15 degree with respect to the axis of the rotation. When the fluid exits through these jets at high pressure, a counter uh, counter force acts. For counter force acts. I mean, when fluid will pass from here, a, a backward force will be acted on this body, and the arrangement of these jets is in such a way that the force is combined and this body starts rotating. Now to see that how how do we use spin cat in a real time job? Let's see this animation. As we can see in this diagram, spin cat is run with the coil tubing in a well. This is the coil tubing string and here the spin cat is attached. 
and here we can see that when we pump as explained earlier uh, pump fluid depending upon the nature of the job when this fluid exits through these nozzles uh, this uh, spin gate starts rotation and the fluid strikes the walls of the well bore at high pressure here in this slide uh, the commonly used size of the spin gate are uh, shown <coughs> the first one is the first one is uh, 1.25 inch second is 1.68 inch third is 2.12 inch this is 2.50 inch and this is 2.87 this first uh, size which is of 1.25 is sometimes known as slow rejecting tool and the other uh, this uh, 2.5 and to the ab above is also known as tomcat here we can see th uh, these spin gates have different flow ranges 0.5 to 1.5 barrel per minute and uh, 0.7 to 1.3 barrel per minute and so on that's all for today's uh, video yeah. so thank you very much for watching and if you have some question you can ask in the comment box Further, if somebody is interested to study this topic in much more detail, he can have the access to online manual by following the link given in the description. At the end, same statement, if you found this video useful, share it with your friends and join your hands with us to be the part of solution. Thank you very much.